Hi everyone. From next week onwards, I am going to start online classes for those who are interested to learn memory and Vedic mathematics. This memory course consists of two parts. In first part, I will teach you how to memorize random words, 100 or more random words. This is the first chapter. And in second chapter, I will teach you how to memorize 100 single digit numbers or double digit numbers. See, not only 100, if you are interested, I will teach you how to memorize more than 100 numbers. Okay, this is the second chapter. And in third chapter, I will teach you how to memorize 100 binary numbers. And in fourth chapter, I will teach you how to memorize playing cards, the deck of playing cards. See, if you want to see all the videos, how I memorize playing cards, and how I memorize 100 random words and how I memorize 100 single digit numbers, please go through the link which is given in the description. This second part is the most important part of our memory course. In this second part, I will teach our kids on how to apply these memory techniques to the academic subjects. See, by using these memory techniques, your kids can easily memorize 2 to 3 pages of notes in very quick time. Not only this, they can easily memorize spellings and they can easily remember the vocabulary. See, this vocabulary plays very important role in competitive exams. So, if you nurture them from childhood, they can do wonders in their exams. And also, I will teach them how to memorize states and capitals, historical dates, and also I will teach them how to memorize scientific words, memorizing constants, memorizing periodic table, memorizing numerical data, and also memorizing chemical equations. These are some of the examples. Like this, I will cover each and every topic of the academic subjects. Hi everyone. First of all, what is Vedic Mathematics? Vedic Mathematics is an ancient system of Indian Mathematics where we do calculations from left to right. Usually, in schools, they do calculations from right to left, but here we do calculations from left to right. By using these methods, we can solve problems in very quick time. Let's start this topic with an example. Triple nine into four fifty three. See, it will take one or two minutes time to solve this problem. But by using Vedic mathematics method, we can solve this problem in less than two seconds. Let's check my speed here. Answer is four five two in five four seven. This is the answer. Now I explain how I got this answer. Here. We get this answer in two parts. This is first part and this is second part. For first part, what we have to do is, we have to write one less than this number, 453. What is 453? Sir, one less than 453? One less than 453 is 452. This is the first part of the answer. And for second part, what we have to do is, we have to subtract each and every digit of this first part from 9. What is 9 minus 4? 9 minus 4 is 5. And what is 9 minus 5? 9 minus 5 is 4. And what is 9 minus 2? 9 minus 2 is 7. So our answer is 452 in 452, 547. Let's take one more example. 4 nines into 2, 5, 6, 7. Here, what we have to do? We have to subtract one from this number 2567. One less than this 2567 is 25. 6, 6. This is the first part of the answer. And for second part, what we have to do? We have to subtract each and every digit of this first part from the 9s. What is 9 minus 2? 9 minus 2 is 7. And what is 9 minus 5? It is 4. And 9 minus 6 is 3. And 9 minus 6 is 3. So our answer is 2566733. This is our final answer. This method can be applied when we have nines in the multiplicand and there should be equal number of digits in the multiplicand and multiplier. See here, we are having four nines and four digits. Here, three nines and three digits. Like this, we should have equal digits in the multiplier and multiplicand. Now, what happens if we don't have equal digits in the multiplier and multiplicand and there are no nines in the multiplicand? That I will teach you in the next class. Like this method, there are so many formulas in additions, subtractions, multiplications, divisions, squares, square roots, cubes and cube roots and there are so many topics also. In each and every topic there are some formulas. By using those formulas we can get the answer in less than 10 to 15 seconds. 
I will give the syllabus of this Vedic Mathematics in the description. So please go through that syllabus.